What's up guys, Hell is Hero Animations, back at it again doing another, um, yeah, toy review, and this time on part two of my, um, <laughs> Cloak and Dagger re-review, um, in my last video, well, my unboxing, I mentioned that I bought these figures before, um, but I bought them loose, and at the time I didn't really realize how, um, how, um, well, better it was to buy them new in box because that made them a little bit more authentic. And the fact that they came with, well, a few accessories, mostly dagger, um, which my loose figures did not come with. And my loose figures had a few kind of scuff paint, paint marks and a few scratches, etc. So, you know, these this two pack is pretty inexpensive. They were made in 1996 or 97. Um, so, wow, three years before I was born, ironically. Um, yeah, so, cause since they are old figures, um, they're not, they're not too sought out, and I think because of the, the show, when they, when the show got, well, yeah, announced, that man might have made them a little bit more valuable, because when I, when you think about it, I believe these were the first Cloak and Dagger figures, um, there are also Cloak and Dagger Mini Mates, which I might get. Um, I think there's two sets of those of Mini Mates. Um, oh, did I have Tandy fall over? Okay, yeah. There's, yeah, so where was I? There's two sets of Mini Mates. Um, there's a statue. There's Diamond Select. Um, their series of Marvel figures. There's they have a set of Cloak and Dagger, um, which are okay. They're more display pieces. Dagger is the only one who's posable, and Cloak is more of a uh, kind of yeah kind of a display piece. He doesn't really he didn't have any articulation. Um, recently, there was also a uh, Hasbro Marvel Legend figures, which I've been on the fence about. But I may pick them up just to have more Cloak and Dagger merchandise. Um, I'll eventually buy those two figures. Um, fun fact. Um, the last episode of Season 2 of Cloak and Dagger, they actually cameoed, they used it as a prop, but they cameoed the Hasbro Cloak figure, which I thought was really cool. So, yeah. Little, little uh, tidbit right there. Um... And there are universe figures, and Marvel Universe figures are basically just kind of miniature action figures, a little smaller than these two figures. Um, and those figures are okay. They're like I said, they're just kind of another option if you want cloak and dagger toys. They're pretty inexpensive. Um, and as far as I know, I think that's it. So, so there's a handful of figures slash figurines of cloak and dagger to choose from. Um, the original figures, which I own, is what appeals to me the most, and it captures how they looked back in the 80s and 90s. So, those are the ones I went with. But, uh, yeah, so, um, Cloak and Dagger. Um, our real names of uh, Tandy Bowen and Tyrone Johnson. Um, yeah, they're, they're cool figures. If you haven't seen my original review on these figures loose, which is a little, a little, um, uh, a little older, but you can find it on my playlist. I might delete it. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah, she, for 90 toys, she has basic articulation. Um, arms can go 360, can go up and down. Um, cool thing about Tandy, or Dagger, she comes with four daggers, and they're all different sizes. This is the smallest one, and then there's one that's a little bit longer than this one. And then there's two that are, like, really long, no pun intended. Um, it kind of looks like a bone at the end, which is kind of cool. So I wonder if they use these um, weapons for any other figures. Uh, yeah, her arms can go... Not her arms. Her legs... <laughs> she has thigh swivel. Her legs can go 360. And she has knee joints. Which are a little stiff because they've been in their boxes since 1997, 96... So, um, yeah. 
That's Tandy. And for her bag, I'll show off the daggers. I, I didn't take them all out of the packaging yet. So, and next we have um, Cloak, who's probably like the the meat and potatoes of the box set. Um, now, if you may not, you probably can't tell, but on top, this is the, the my new cloak, the new Tyrone, who's in box. This is his cloak on top, but on the bottom. I took my old one, my loose one. I actually washed uh, his cloak uh, when I got him um, many months ago. I put it at the bottom to make it kind of look longer, because I've been reading, I've been reading the original comic books of Cloak and Dagger, um, which they're pretty good. They're 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 okay. Um, and some some images, some of the drawings, his his cloak looks longer than. I guess it should be kind of kind of reminds me of Spawn in a way, but you could say Spawn kind of copied Cloak a little bit. So yeah, um, yeah. So I just kind of stuck. I just removed the other cloak from off the loose figure and stuck it under this figure to make it kind of look like his cloak is longer and lengthier. And I mean, it, it works. It works a little bit. So uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, that's why he's he's so um, nicely uh, standing, as he has the other the other cloak between his legs, as you can see. Oh, oh yeah, it's nothing but darkness under there, um, as you can see. Oh, as you can see, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of between his legs, so he's kind of just standing on it, really. But, yeah, still cool. And, of course, the cloak is Velcro right here. So, you can't, you can't, you can't just take it off. Like, yeah, you, well, it's on there now. But you can't just kind of pop it off. Or you can un-Velcro it and remove it. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, oh. And I've noticed, I'm pretty sure it's the same on the new one. His eyes kind of glow in the dark a little bit. So, that's kind of cool. Because he kind of does that in the comics as well. So, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's, that's Cloak. Uh, I guess I'll remove. And he, he has, he has a little bit more articulation. You know what? I'm just going to show the articulation on the loose figure. Because, of course, it's the exact same. I'll, let's move that to the side for now. Oh, yeah, I'll move that out of the way. Uh, Okay, so Tyrone has, um, here's the loose figure, he has uh, elbow joints, which another weird thing is that one hand is molded to be, you probably can't tell, but it looks like he's uppercutting, which is kind of weird. I don't, I don't know why they did that, but it, it, it exists. Um, that was, it's kind of weird, but you know, you don't really see it because he has his cloak on. Um, he has wrists, well, not wrists, he has elbow, well, arm swivel, his arms can go 360, his head can turn a little bit, it's, it's more stiff on my new one because, well, yeah, he's been in box, he's been in the box, um, knee joints, legs can kind of go in and out a little bit, and, oh, they also have peg holes, which is cool, and they have, and he has a toe joint. So, uh, yeah, um, he's okay, decently posable. So, yeah, um, I don't know if I'll sell my old, my loose figures. Uh, since I'm keeping the cloak up from the old one, I guess it wouldn't be right to sell it, to sell him, sell that old Tyrone without his cloak. So, I don't know, I might just give it to my little brother. If anyone wants them, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll give them to you for like a good deal. But uh, yeah, so another interesting thing that these figures come with is this collector's tin, which is really cool and nice of Toy Biz to throw in with uh, artwork of Cloak and Dagger. Um, so I open it up. Um, yeah, it's nice. This is really this is really cool. It says 1998 Marvel Characters Incorporated Toy Biz Inc. Taiwan. 
Marvel Comics. I'm not sure, but I think it has right there. It has it has artwork. I might have the name of the person who did the artwork. So this is really nice. Um, I'll probably store. There, I might put Ty, not Ty, Tandy's uh, daggers in there. And this is the um, seller I bought it from, Chaotic Collectibles. Um, I mentioned that I bought these guys. I ordered them Saturday, and they got here yesterday. Yesterday being Monday, and today's Tuesday. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, today's Tuesday at the time of this filming. I'm filming this. Uh, and lastly, um, unfortunately, I kind of had to tear the tear the packaging open to get them. Lastly, uh, yeah, we have. Oh, let me fix the camera. We have Tandy's uh, daggers. You see, I took the first one out. So that's pretty. That's pretty dope. They gave you four. I, I have four options. Only sucky thing is, yeah, she can only, she can only put one in her hand at a time. So yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for this review. Um, I, well, I'm the only person to review these figures out of their packaging. Um, there's one other YouTuber who's who who did an unboxing with these toys, but he did not take them out of the packaging. So, yeah, um, Cloak and Dagger. So, uh, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, stay tuned for more of my content. I have one more figure on the way. Um, he's from, he's coming from Japan. It's a Transformer toy. So, I'll review that figure when he gets here. And as far as my next collectibles, uh, I'm in a Transformer mood ever since I got Victorian. And really, I need to build up my Decepticons anyway, so I don't know. I might just collect inexpensive Transformer toys. We'll see. But uh, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Peace, you guys.